Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Potato Gamers Podcast. Gamers with a Z. I'm here Z. with James. Hey. Hi. And Hi. Uh, we're being sponsored by no one. <laughs> we're being sponsored by no uh, one. Please Sorry, click the just... link down below to uh, get your free first nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your link down below to get your free booklet on a new pod gamers pod in a pod game. What am I on about? Yep. <laughs> and, and, and make sure and make sure to tell them it was from us. Hundred <laughs> percent legit seal. I'll just like the label on it. Hundred percent le- legit. <laughs> no cashback. Sorry, yeah. it's legit. <laughs> we sell the finest in all the land. It'd be kind of funny if there uh, one of us does provide a link and it'll just show up a blank page. What I'm gonna I'm gonna do that actually. I'll I'll remember that. There's gonna mm. be. I mean, that would be pretty funny, though. Just do something like a fake number on the bottom. <laughs> Go here to get your free Potato Gamers podcast t-shirts, logos, cups, everything you want. I could troll and put a scare link. Yes, but then you'll completely put people away from the podcast for the rest of your life. Even your YouTube channel, possibly. Will you, but will you trust me? Do you put my trust? No. Of course you do. <laughs> of course I do, yeah. Hey, you trust me, right, James? Yeah, I trust you. Well, sometimes. Yeah, but I trust you, yeah, I trust you. Okay. Well, mm. anyways, uh, this is my first podcast, and I've only <laughs> just found out about podcast where a couple weeks ago, and uh, I think I'm prepared. I did my warm-up stretches. I got my sandwich. <laughs> a sandwich? I have a whole gallon of milk as well. Like, no oh, joke. Wow. I'm not exaggerating. A whole gallon of milk was poured into this giant jug for me to drink. <laughs> it's just like the peer pressure. I've, I got, like nothing but an, I've got an, an empty Pepsi Max can. That's about it. I, I don't think I ever told you about this, but Actually, milk was is episode. my life. Mm. I love milk so hard. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, like It's all I can think about. Milk, nothing else but milk. I'll go to a sushi restaurant and like people will be like drinking water or maybe a soda, like a Diet Coke or something. And I'm going to be like, give me some milk. I'm like, okay. but sir, like, uh, milk doesn't go well. It's just give me some damn milk. Uh, uh, question. If you yeah. were in a field, would you drink milk from a cow? I will. And I did one time. You would drink milk time. from a cow? I actually did one time. Um, I, no. That's what I was sorry. Okay, this is getting something else. No, I'm joking. No, no, I, th- I think a story's coming on. A story's, yeah, coming, a story's on. coming on. Please continue. A flashback. Anyway, this was actually at my time when I was living in England, um, and I was visiting one of the farms. I was like five years old back then, by the way. Just mm-hmm. a wee lad. And I was curious on what milk would taste like if I just drank it out of a cow. <laughs> 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 and that's just simply what happened. I walked up to a cow that was in a pen, and I started drinking. <laughs> and, uh, did you have to crawl in the pen? Uh, kind of. Like, like I, I just like I was really small. I just like crawled through the fences. Of, of course, <laughs> I got into some trouble with the farmer. Of course you would. You crawled into. You he crawled didn't know what was pen. going on. He just saw me. It was like stop messing with my cows. Of course he would. He'd be protecting his property, his cows. You know, oh. <laughs> I can just imagine like the pure, the like the pure just worry. Oh, Andre, Andre, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, wait, it's just uh, <laughs> you drinking from a cow. Okay, yeah, give like, you Andre. Of it, I just want some really <laughs> fresh milk. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I guess the freshest. I guess the freshest <laughs> is from the source. So. Mm. Yeah. Not not that not that we uh, atten- not, not, not that we're convincing people to do so. Okay, it's, it's oh better yeah, if it's the don't character. do it. D- don't go into a, a farm, and then start drinking from the cow. You just yeah. get and, it from the stores. It's a lot better. It's efficient. You don't get in trouble for it, and you don't end up like Andre did. <laughs> Simple as that. More, and, more and or less. Don't, don't try. Do not end either. up in Andre's positions because you get the same butt kicking as Andre did, if you got one. Uh, not okay. really. Like no one actually found out about it except. For the farmer, kind of, but I, I kind of just told my parents, like, uh, I want to go home now. And then <laughs> we just. Anyways, we do have some topics written down, right? Well, you said you did. I, I don't have anything. Oh, that wasn't really one of those topics. Just there's like a mm. free story. Yeah, just That's improvising, no. making a new story to talk about. I mean, it was something that lasted uh, five minutes, I think. I don't know, actually, like about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's something. It's something. It is definitely something. Just something. Not anything, just something. 
Yep. No. Nothing. Anyways, it is called Potato Games with the Z. So. Z. <laughs> Not with the we Z. Had, we had a big discussion about the Z bit, because I came up with Gamer and Gamers with an S, and Andre insisted to be a Z, so, uh... It, it yeah, we just has this swag, you know? I know, but it's almost like, um... It's like a clan name, or it's like... Because whenever you have those clan names, like XXX, like capital letter, lowercase letter, and in the end it always ends up with a Z. 6969. It's just like XXX Turbo Phase, like that. It's just, yeah. it's always a Z. Nothing else. Yeah. Wait, do you say uh, Z or Z? Like, uh, I, I say... Hmm, actually, I actually don't know the answer myself. A, B, C, D, U, G, H, G, M, P, Q, I, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Yeah, I probably say Z most. It, it works better. Like, yeah, like it, you would just have to sing the alphabet. Like, you can't just say O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Z. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. It's just like, no, it's Z. Z. Dead it, said. Like, it it's has to be Z. Don't. It's got to be Z. Mm. Yeah. I guess you've got that same rhythm because, like, we, we always had this nursery rhyme that was like played by some sort of like machinery caterpillar or something that we'd always had back in in like kindergarten. It was so oh, funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, it was devilish, but it was always like W X Y and Z. So of course that would probably like ruin the whole song almost if it would just went from that. A lot of European countries, though, uh, it, it's just like that, except it's with a Z. Hmm. Or, like, um, I know, like, in uh, Sweden, that, that's what they do. But Sweden's, like, weird. They they put K's and J's next to each other. It's not natural. It, excuse me, the, po the point of the podcast is that we do not disown other countries. We're here to talk about video games and any other thing that comes into our heads, including your farm story. All right. I have that's true, but we're not disowning. We love you, Sweden. I mean, we love you, you, Sweden. You, you gave us some pretty cool things. Hashtag like... Heart Sweden. That's probably going on the screen. On my, right. my end, I don't know. I don't know. I might be too lazy to put it on my end. I'll, I'll put a potato. I don't know. Anyways! <laughs> just, just find like an I Love Sweden t shirt and just put it on, just flash it on the screen. Just slap it on the screen. Sweden! <laughs> that, that was my national anthem. It was that? That was a very quick national anthem. Sweden! With That's my it. best vocals ever, which... <laughs> <laughs> With purely a 100% immediate audio editing. Yeah. Swag. Swag with an E and a Z. Swag with a Z. No, a Z. <laughs> Swags. <laughs> mm. All right. Anyways, we still haven't really talked about a single topic or yeah, still about any video topic. games at all. <laughs> mm. Okay, so one of my topics is uh, childhood games. Like... How old were you when you first started playing a video game? Like, do you remember it? This is over some becoming a, from a podcast to like a question and answer video. <laughs> if you don't answer within the given time, your family dies. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'll just if you're so interested in my childhood life, I, I would gladly, I gladly talk about it because my family is at risk. But I'll still talk about it anyways. Um, we're all listening. <laughs> oh god, it's. Even though it's just me in this room, I feel like so. I like. I feel like so claustrophobia now. Just like the. It feels like I'm just talking to an audience. Uh, sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm actually feeling a little nervous. I'm like moving everywhere. I'm not sure if you hear the squeakiness in my chair. Well, well, your whole like the whole instinct for you is that we're gonna be talking for about an hour on about I know, video that's games what I'm thinking to an about. audience and to like, ourselves, like to each other. So, uh, one hmm. one thing I'm allergic to is conversations and. Conversations. But to do it for a whole hour. <laughs> I just imagine you just like face cam yourself out. You're like spots and like inflated parts in your skin. I don't want to do face cam because I will be looking everywhere and I'll be everywhere except in front of the camera. <laughs> I mean, imagine, how, imagine how horrible that'd be if like you were allergic to conversations, you flash up a face cam, like your whole face has been. Your oh, face? Oh man, about, sorry. Your whole face! It's like been inflated, you've got spots everywhere, and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I regret to go now. <laughs> Take my EpiPen, sorry. Uh, that'd be horrible. I mean, in any cases where you find that you've done something to, like, give someone an allergy, that, that's probably one of the worst things to do in human history. Just cause someone's allergy to go off and this It feels bad. We mean I no mean, offense to the people who actually are allergic to conversations. Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, no offense to people who are allergic to conversations. I mean, everyone's allergic to something. I think I'm allergic to pollen. I don't know if that's a hay fever. That seems to be a really common British allergism, if that's mm. a word. 
My, my surely, dad... surely it shouldn't be though, because we Brit we Britons are very famous for having rain go on our country like every single day almost. I know, like so you're used to it, and then like it's all sunny, and then like the pollen's trying to. Pollen. And then during the summertime, the rain just gets warmer. Simple as that. God damn it! <laughs> what is your childhood game? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm getting cold off. Um, that's okay. I don't know. I I can't remember what age I start playing games at. Uh, little known, the game I first played. I would well, probably I say the first game I ever played was probably. Um, I think Crash Bandicoot was probably the first one I played. That's probably the really? the main one I played. M me too. Uh, it's mm. not really the first one, more like second or third, but that was the one I played so religiously, I guess. Religiously? Mm hmm. It was, uh, I like the collector's edition from PlayStation 1, and I was playing on the PlayStation 2 because I'm a rebel like that. Mm hmm. And, um, oh, what was it called? I, I, I still have that game in my closet. I think it was like Crash Bandicoot Warped. And I was, oh, like, yeah, Crash Bandicoot Free, yeah. Yeah, I play that it's so much. It's beautiful! I went. I was like the only four year old on the block that would like look for all the relics and like get the best times and like do everything. Mm -hmm. Even my dad was like, because my dad got the game for himself and he was just like, yeah. how the heck are you doing this? <laughs> my skills don't diss. <laughs> but really, uh, my first game ever, I played video games when I was two years old um, on the Super Nintendo. Oh, the Super Nintendo, yeah. Yeah. No, I got Super Nintendo. Yeah, and uh, I was playing Mario 64. Oh, Super Mario 64, yeah. That's, that's yeah. a good game. I was bad at it. I, I wasn't really that good. I was, <laughs> oh, According wow. to my dad, I just walked around. At, at least I knew the controls when I was two years old, but still, mm -hmm. I, I died a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, at that age, I, would, get, I get, would guess you would, wouldn't you? I mean... Like, back in my old childhood, when I used to play other Crash Bandicoot games, there's, like, Twin Sanity, which is probably my favorite. Never um, heard of that. Uh, it's, it's a game that wasn't created by Noid Dog. It was, in fact, created by, uh, I think it was, like, I can't remember what the company was called. I think it was, like, Travelers, Chattails, Oxford Studios, and... Uh, was it, I like, an adventure sorry. game or, like, a party game? Oh, uh, yeah, it was, um... I, I personally enjoyed it, compared to, it was still had like the platforming element to it, but it was still it was more free moan, free roam this time. Oh, that's cool. So you could walk from area to area. You there were still gems to collect, but it wasn't from getting all the crates. It was from just finding six gems around the map. Uh, I had good boss battles. You get to, you got to play as Cortex, and you got to play as his, her, his um his niece, which is pretty cool. He has a niece. I never knew that. Hmm. She's just like a goth girl who's in some sort of private school elsewhere in the world. Simple as that. Uh, she got like robot hands. So you can like connect to um, hooks and climb up places. I miss those old days when the story didn't really have to make sense. It felt iconic, but then it was sounded mm. really weird. Well, well, the Crash Bandicoot one one was it seemed somewhat odd. I mean, Crash was created, he escaped. Mm -hmm. um, female Bandicoot still was captured. Goes back to get her by defeating the guy who's evil who created him. Who created Stuff. him? Yeah, because, well, Cortex and Embryo created him, so... Mm. Maybe that's why he doesn't like crates. Mm. Anyways, uh, I was just remembering... <laughs> um, was, was this is like some sort of pun, then? Just because he... Uh, it was a really created, bad pun. Yeah. Anyways, I actually did get a new wallpaper that's a Crash Bandicoot style. It's like saying, take a risk. So, um... Here's how the picture goes. I'll try my best to describe it. So, Crash okay. is standing next to a tower of crates. The <laughs> first bottom crate is TNT... Then the second one on top is an extra life. And then there's a okay. TNT on top of that one. So it's like an extra life sandwich between the TNT. Between the TNT. But of course, if you spin attack the TNT, it all blows up. Yeah, you gotta like time it really right. You gotta like jump and as you're coming down. And it's the riskiest thing I've ever done in my childhood just to get that extra life, <laughs> which I didn't need. This it, it sounds like some sort of a. Uh, you ever played Professor Layton? Uh, no, I haven't. It's like a puzzle game for the DS and like all that. It, it feels like one of those games. It's like um, Puzzle 64, Life in Crates and stuff like that. You must get the crate without the TNT exploding. Ah. <laughs> it just... Mm. So it's a crate it, was a good, it was a good game, though. It was actually a nice game. It was confusing, and I got stuck in it quite a lot. But um, yeah, it's a good game. Uh, what games kind of games do you normally play on the DS? Like um, those kind of puzzle games? Like uh, Party? Uh... 
what just purely just pu- purely puzzle games or like any ones game? that you played most of the time like you ever had like a time when you play the ds and it's like mm, okay i'll play the oh, okay, ds yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. just the game that's mm-hmm. in there that you play okay uh pokemon 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 uh <laughs> i actually was not surprised by that i, I knew you're gonna say mm-hmm. that well, I mean, there was Pokemon Diamond, which is uh, the first DS Pokemon game I got, and then there was also Platinum. Uh, there was Soul Silver, and there was all, like Black and Black Two as well. So, uh, there's quite a lot of Pokemon games to play on that. I played a lot of Final Fantasy on my DS. Mm. Final Fantasy IV was my favorite, and in... I never played. I never played Final Fantasy. Like, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's, it's like it's an well, RPG. Well, it is, it is like it is an RPG still, isn't it? So. It's it's how RPGs should be, in my opinion. Like, yeah, it's it looks like a really good RPG. I've just like never got the like the, I've just like never found a game to play, and I just felt like it was hard to just kind of start the series without knowing what it was like. But I guess. All right. Well, here's the thing: like the series don't really connect to each other, except the newer ones. The new Final Fantasies suck a lot. Yeah. I, like, I mean, if you were gonna movie... start with one, either start with Final Fantasy four or Final Fantasy seven. Like, one of those, that's what you gotta do. But is the story in any way linked? That's, which is the no, problem. it's not okay. linked. But, like, Could... um, like I was saying with the new ones, I just bought, like, Final Fantasy fourteen, and it seems to be linked to the third one, and there's, like, 13, 13 and a half, 13.4. What the heck is this shit? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I said uh, sheep, by the way. Sheep, yeah, you said sheep. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but, just, just, just to make sure, this is probably gonna get beeped out, just, just, just to make sure. It is PG thirteen, and PG thirteen allows for one curse word. So, I guess. Oh, is it? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's just too law. But anyways, it, I I I just came out because I felt really emotional by it, because twenty dollars is a lot for me. Hmm. Well, that's probably less in our, in our currency. So. I I don't get paid anything, no allowance. I I'm still looking for a job, and stuff. It's not happening, man. It's not happening. The world, the big man doesn't want me. It's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an earthquake now, oh, gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, soon they will all play. <laughs> they will suffer and they will fall. I will make their life bad. Anyway, sorry, I'm just, I'm getting off there. Anyways, how about a new topic? Um, okay. New new topic. So, how about YouTube? Uh, what was the earliest days of YouTube? Uh, I'm sure when you started YouTube, you simply just watched videos. Did you have like something you would search up, or what? What was YouTube like when you first started using it? Um. Well, for starters, I didn't like make a YouTube channel to subscribe to people. I was just kind of the. I just kind of watched it for free almost. So I didn't make a channel and go to subscribe Same. to other people. I just kind of browsed it. And I think for the time, like when I was a bit younger, I was always interested in, uh, as you were, si- Super Mario 64. Mm-hmm. But it was on the emulator, which is Project 64. So you could get a bunch of cheats in there. You get, like, Moon Jump, Invincibility. You could change Mario's color to something else. Nice. You could, like, you can even change your character more completely and be, like, Peach or Toad. It was, like, really funny. And um, I think they were, like, nicknamed uh, Super Mario 64 bloopers. And it was just basically a bunch of silly... It was just like Super Mario 64 played by a guy that was absolutely crazy and he put subtitles for what Mario would say and a bunch of sound effects and he just basically just added so much humor to that. It was like really interesting. I can and imagine when I, that. I, when I first felt like making a YouTube video, YouTube channel, sorry, that was what I felt like basing it on. I just felt like it was really cool. But then I just kind of looked at my video and I just thought, yeah. <laughs> and I just... Yeah, those just things do take it. a lot of work to get the get it flowing. Mm. There, there's some comedy strategies going on there. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yawning. Sorry. Yeah. When oh. I started watching YouTube, just the same, like I, I didn't have an account to subscribe to. I would um, like just go on a computer, whether it be the school lab or whatever, and I would search this thing called Lego Batman, where it's basically Lego Batman and it's like a stop motion kind of thing. By the way, oh, this yeah. Is, this is mm. wait. Do you know about those? Uh, yeah, I, I used to watch those as well. They were 
they were pretty. I think I watched more of the Star Wars ones though, like Lego Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, I saw those. Yeah, those. Are and uh, yeah, they were really funny back in my old childhood. Yeah, I, I I tried to go back to them like just to relive some memories, and I'm just watching. I'm like, this isn't funny at all. <laughs> like, you just completely just ruin it. There's, just, like, it's just Batman like hating on Robin. Like Robin, you're so stupid. Then Robin just goes off crying, and then there's like, like red Play-Doh as blood. I'm like. I used to laugh at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's face it. You're a child, you know. Child's, yeah. Y- y- you you don't know what they could be like. I'm not saying all child children are evil, mm-hmm. but of course you've got the mo- more young mind where you don't know what you could be doing. You're not too aware of like life. You, right? You're basically not aware of like your future or not. You're just kind of doing it for fun almost, like for the first bit of your life. So, I, I mean, if that makes sense to you, does that make sense to you? It totally does make sense. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, so I'm not, I'm not like, having a crowd that's like, what's he on about? This, is, this guy is just, t- he's on a tangent, no idea what he's on about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I guess, I guess when, when you're a child, like a really young child especially, it's just... Yeah, like, you, you, child mind just makes everything look so nice. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, you keep apologizing for everything you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... Oh, I seem so. You're saying sorry for sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, okay. Uh, basically, yeah, I just I just say sorry, Carl, like, just in case. Um, I, I whenever I feel like I've done something to disrupt something, so in this case, coughing to like disrupt the, the podcast, I just feel so sorry about it. So I'm just so sorry. Yeah. But I feel like I say sorry way too much. You do, but it's not really a problem or any kind of annoyance. Like, mm. Well, 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 to you it's not. To someone else, it, it's a pretty big annoyance, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, anyways, I remember um, my first YouTube channel. This was, like, back in the sixth grade, and I was in the video club, and I'm like, I want to do this because they all had YouTube channels, and they were doing a lot of crappy stuff. I'm like, I could totally do better than them. <laughs> you pity some YouTube work is no match for my potato-ness. Yeah. And, and then uh, just the videos. I actually did do better than them. I gained like 900 subscribers, <laughs> but this and, is like and, and yet you're on this channel that's got 100. I think it's 156. You currently got. Yeah, but YouTube's different, you know. Like back then, this is like 2009, I think. I'm not doing math, just guessing. But um... <laughs> I'm just estimating, guys. I'm not actually putting in the work. Yeah, but all I did was I took a laptop camera, I pointed it at a TV screen, all right. And I played Super Smash Brothers with really loud music. <laughs> and it was like copyright, everything. It was like I was just playing the Gummy Bear song. And I was playing... You know about the song called What What in the Butt? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I know. But there it, was a song... It, that seems like a song you'd have to be extremely weird to go and look at, personally. Oh, no. All the kids in the school did it. Like, um, It was like this joke. This is like an old school viral video kind of thing. Where like... Uh, friends would dare other kids to go play that song really loud on the classroom computer when the teacher's not looking. And it'd be so funny, like, this kid would just, like, zoom up, open the minimize tab, and play it full volume. It'd be like, <laughs> what, what, in the butt. What, what, in the butt. <laughs> it would just, like, loop like that. <laughs> it's just, and the teacher just turned out like, what, what? <laughs> Who is playing that in my class? I, I like it. Thank you. you. You can play it as the national anthem for the school now. I, re- I really think it's good. good. <laughs> Imagine if they agreed to that. Imagine that that's the school anthem. I just, that would be <laughs> that would the probably bring ever. fame down. That probably bring the fame down to like the the lowest school in like the whole country almost. <sighs> the funny thing is, I'm remembering it. The guy who sang it, he was like um, this African American, and he had like this super afro. All right. okay. Not just a normal afro, and he <laughs> no, was a. It was a super afro, and he was, and he had a green screen of like classic Windows cloud background on, and he was just like smiling at the camera, like not even enthusiastically singing. He was just like, "What, what?" in the butt, like he was in some awkward school play. <laughs> okay. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Was he supposed to be saying this, or did he just say it anyways? Like what the guy saying it. Yeah, like the guy singing it. Was he actually supposed to be singing it? Or, like, yeah, he was, it, like, he was supposed to be like legitly making a music video. <laughs> that seems odd. That, that seems really odd. 
I'm definitely gonna go back and look into this on um, what oh, great. okay sure <laughs> uh but moving on yeah. <laughs> still I... got like uh three more topics to go on about oh three <laughs> okay uh, another one is mmo games i that's all i've written down but i think what i meant to say was um i i think pretty much every gamer has spent hours and hours on this one online game has that ever happened to you? Uh, yes, it it has quite a few times actually. Oh, what game did you play the most? Um, I think the probably the biggest MMO game I played like back in when I was like a little younger mm-hmm. uh, was probably Toontown. I don't know if you've ever heard that game. Oh yeah, I definitely played it. And and that game was I... that game was like my life almost. I loved it. It was just an MMO. It was just an MMO RPG based game, based off Disney, and and I just I can understand. I just really liked. It. It was, I mean, like the graphics were pretty neat. There was quite a few things to do. The boss fights were really nice when, when you actually managed to get to them because I was yeah, like, the only turn based them. combat. Like, I could, yeah. I could see why that could be really addicting and level up your uh, pie. You, yeah, you level up like your gags, your, your throw, your squirt, your lure and traps and all that. It was just, it was really satisfying for the time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you ever go to uh, Disneyland and there'd be like a Toontown section? Uh, I went to Disneyland once, but I don't think there was a Toontown section. I'm not too sure. It is kind of new, but like Toontown fans would just go berserk in there. Most of them <laughs> were like eight year old boys, but they'd be like, "I'm oh, dead! It's that guy! <laughs> it's that guy!" And just I pick up a pie and just throw it as a random dude. <laughs> I remember, I remember this one little boy. He looked like four or something, and he had a giant jar of jelly beans. Like, oh, I, I believe that that was the currency in that game. Yeah, that's right? the currency in the game, Jelly Beans. It was so cute. Like he like walked up to like a lady who was like selling some Toontown knickknacks, and he was like, "Excuse me, miss, but can I please buy that?" <laughs> <laughs> what with the Jelly Beans? Yeah, he was just like handing her the jar of Jelly Beans, and the girl who was there, she didn't understand what Toontown was at all. She's just there. For the job, and she's just staring at this kid like, "What is this kid thinking?" It, like, was it was it a prank or was he actually just doing it because no, he, he was? To I'm 100 percent sure he meant it. That uh, oh wow, that that he just would if he saved that many jelly beans, he could buy something nice. Hmm. But, uh, I I mean, if that was the actual currency, yeah, that he could probably buy something nice. I spent a lot of time on a variety of games. My, the first one being Club Penguin. <laughs> like, just because I wanted to fit in with the cool kids, because all the cool kids... Are <laughs> because cool. all the cool kids were like, yeah. Pff, I gotta tell Penguin. you about this system, because the elementary school I went to, it was just... I don't think there's any other school like this. Mm-hmm. So, if you wanted to be popular, you had to play Club Penguin, because there were six computer... Like, classroom computers... And okay. you go out to play Club Penguin, and you gain an audience watching you. And uh, I was one of those people. And basically, it was a an unspoken of contest. Like, no one would speak of it, but we would all secretly have a contest on who could get the biggest audience and most people watching them. And if you had a Club Penguin membership, you instantly had, like, half the classroom watching you. Yeah, because you have this, the, the authority to go to places you couldn't go to otherwise. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, I didn't even go to those places. I just bought a fireman's costume for my penguin. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, he's got a fireman. Everybody, come over here. That's exactly what happened. This, like, they were like, oh my god, you got a fireman costume. Mm. <laughs> I remember I'd always buy... Um, I, I most of the time played Club Penguin just like normally, but whenever there was some really cool item, I'd always just like beg my parents to buy, uh, so I could buy a membership. Um, when the theater was introduced in Club Penguin, I don't know if you, you played it to that point. Um, sure but like, the... there's this... Oh. I, I, I saw the theater when I was playing it. I don't know. Mm. But like, there oh, was that's... this... Ro- oh, there was like this really cool robot costume I wanted to get. And basically, what I did was... Oh, I remember that. I, um... And actually, I think it was Christmas at this point. Yeah, it was Christmas. I got a year membership for Club Penguin at this point. And oh, I was really excited to... Uh, to buy this costume so what i do is i simply wait until the next morning and then i put it on just because of the fact that it was late by the time the party was over so uh i basically went to bed went to sleep woke up the next morning took the piece of paper put the code in 
go to the theatre and realise that the uh, the place changed. Oh, uh, don't you so hate on that, that last so day, much. If, if, so it turns from the space it turns from the space play to like a fish play. So I get like a fish suit instead. <laughs> did like did, you, did you get the suit thing. anyways? Uh, no, I, I never I never got the robot suit. I never got it. Uh, it still lives there to this day. <laughs> I, I still think about that day and how it never happened. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it haunts my childhood. <laughs> uh, funny. Um, but the game I spent the most, and this holds like a special place in my heart, is uh, Wizard 101. Mm. Alright, like, this was a game, it was like a turn-based combat kind of game, and you would level up to gain new spells. And the thing is, this game is unforgiving. Like it may be, it may look like a child go- child game that's family friendly and all that, but this is serious. You gotta like put in a lot of thinking power on how to spell, y- not spell, like spend your. <laughs> how um... to spell? <laughs> yeah, you gotta know how to spell to be a wizard. Mm. Anyway. I mean, seriously, it's one of the most, it's one of the needed most renewed recommendations. You need to, you need to be a good speller in order to be a wizard. Yeah. And um. That reminds me, I learned a lot from this game, actually. You know, I, I like computers. I'm not sure if that's obvious or not, but I really love computers. And I would always take a computer class in school, and I would hate it. Like, they, all they would do is just teach you typing lessons, just to type fast. And I hated it. And mm-hmm. I've never gotten a good typer. But in Wizard 101, it, it's also about communication, and... Uh, when you're like selecting your spells, it gives you 30 seconds. So you got 30 seconds to select what you're doing, change your strategy and everything. And, um, and whatever time you have left is the time that you have to type. And okay. the thing is, in, in this game, they don't just... It's not like Minecraft, you can just type whatever letters. It has to be spelled correctly because they have a filter. You can't... It, things have to be spelled correctly. There has to be commas and apostrophes and everything. And I learned how to type. From this game, a lot better than I did from school. So not only was it a game, it was also a almost lesson that was able to, be, to teach you the new things and how to spell properly. And it wasn't just typing, but I learned a lot of math as well. There's a lot of percentages and decimals in this game if you want to be precise and get a really good long-term strategy. And uh, I got really good at math. I would like be googling trigonometry and stuff like okay. that, just just so I could solo this dungeon over and over again. And um, yeah, I I did spend like two hundred dollars worth of memberships and crowns and stuff on it. But um, yeah, <laughs> always no, well, well, I guess for a game that almost taught you as well as give you a good experience, it's just I guess it's a way of saying thank you. Yeah, thank you. It is, but. The thing is, not a lot of people liked it. Like, my parents, they, they just saw it as a children's game because the one who showed it to me was, like, like an eight-year-old girl. And the, the thing is, they, they they don't really look into the game. They don't know. They, they just don't understand. Mm. I, I mean, most of the time with my parents, it's just they look at the... They just look at this current screen of the game and they just make a big judgment of it and that's it. Yeah. So it's it's kind of just yeah it's just kind of like that and then and um, after that they just think of the game as that for the rest of their life almost. Mhm. Like you don't judge book by its cover. Mm. But uh, I tried to get some kids because I know there were kids my age who were playing it because the uh, people I would talk to online my quote quote friends that I would add to my friends list. Mhm. Like they were like fifteen, sixteen. They were older than me. I was like twelve when playing it. Okay. And um, I wanted to go to my school and find kids my age who played it. And everyone, like, 9 out of 10 times, they either they either play Call of Duty or Halo. And <laughs> really, FPSs. Yeah, and I told them about Wizard 101. I, I tried to convince them to play it. And they're like, and they just keep on talking about, like, Oh, the game is for children. I tried it one time. And then asked me to pay money. Well, yeah, like, you got to... Pay sixty bucks for your Call of Duty. Hmm. So, you probably play pay more money with getting your Call of Duty and anything else on there rather than just yeah, and they, just buy play Wizard One Hundred One. They just keep making excuses on why they, everyone makes excuses not to play Wizard One Hundred One, and I don't know why, but maybe they just don't have the dedication. Maybe it's just easier just turn on your Xbox and 
aim and bam, 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 bam. I don't know. Well, of course, you, you've always got to you've always got to take in that it's it's poss- it's just their opinion almost. If they don't like the game, they don't like the game almost. Yeah, I so, could definitely understand it. I mean, if they like first person shooters, they like first person shooters, and that's like a thing that they 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 will know for the most of their life and. If they don't like this, then it's just not for them. Then they just don't play it. So. Yeah, I can understand the first-person mm. shooters are fun. They do take skill of reaction time and motor skills and everything. No. Sorry if mm. I offended players. but um, uh, <laughs> It just kind of frustrated me that no one really wants to put in dedication to do long-term strategies. People like real-time strategies and re- reaction times. You know? Hmm. Well, I mean, it did pop up in a newspaper once that Call of Duty was actually good for your brain because of the fact it gives you the um, it, it makes is. you aware. You need to be aware of your surroundings on the game. You need to think fast. If someone's shooting you, you have to turn around quickly and shoot them and all that. It's it like built it built up, and it like it, it changed you almost. It made you more reactive. You would react to situations quicker, and it was actually pretty nice. Mm-hmm. So I it, wish I guess it, would it take has its pros and effect. cons like everything else. Mm-hmm. It's still... Cons that it's so addictive that so many people play it rather than other games, but uh, pros is in it's actually it would help your brain and uh... it really does. Mm. I would say give you a message of the army, but I wouldn't actually think that's exactly what it does. I don't. I... There was this kid who considered himself a gun expert because he played Call of Duty, because he can't play gun, <laughs> and he tried to convince people how realistic Call of Duty is. I'm like, it... if Call of Duty was realistic, then why doesn't the guns jam? Hmm? Hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's no <laughs> recoil. Why do you come back to life after you die? Yeah, and you don't just it's get shot real. and then go hide somewhere and then you're totally fine. Mm. I mean, Call of Duty is fun, okay? It's not mm. meant to be realistic. It's meant to be a fun game where you go and, you know, you just have some fun. And if you want to take it seriously, then go ahead. Then go. Take it seriously. We're not stopping. Mm hmm. Just make sure your mom makes you those sandwiches. <laughs> but anyways... Is that, is, is that what happened for you? Your mom made your sandwiches, so you just go on your way? No, I have to go make my own. Aww. Oh, Andre. Well, Please donate. Uh, Andre, I know how you feel. I gotta make my sandwiches as well. I know. I, I, I've made <laughs> myself two ham sandwiches for this podcast, and I haven't taken a single bite. Oh, wow. Uh, what about the gallon? What about like the whole cup of milk you got? I've well? been drinking that. Like half, <laughs> I I drink drink like half of it already. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm gonna get like five refills, and you have no idea just how quick I drink it. No, I just but. Anyways, there's a topic that I've been considering would be the longest topic to talk about, and and uh, considering we're almost forty minutes into the podcast, mm-hmm. um, it's time to talk about Minecraft. Minecraft. Right. What's Minecraft? I don't know what Minecraft is. I think we should get a picture of what Minecraft is, or what it used mm. to be, and what it is now. I mean, no one knows what Minecraft is. Just flash a picture up on the screen, just to, just to aware people about this whatever game is. It's a potato! <laughs> it's a potato! No, I just fla- actually just flash a potato on the screen right now. Which is no, purely I'm... Minecraft. That's the, the rarest ore in Minecraft, the potato. Oh, yeah. Seriously, it's just... You, you gotta understand. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you know. You gotta understand the pros and cons of the potato. The cons are there's no cons. The pros are there's so many pros. It makes you a pro. I'm a pro. Mm. That's why you potato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my show <coughs> started out as um by this guy Notch. He, he was just one of those nerdy. <laughs> Are we gonna give him a history lesson? I'm trying to get a picture oh, hey, of it. Let me Minecraft continue. first started up by this man named Notch, and Notch was playing around <laughs> by doing a lot of gaming making, and he eventually made a game about blocks. This game then went on to be known as Minecraft. It went in beta, it went in alpha, it finally went out to the world. Notch then became replaced by Jab, Jab did stuff, and now Microsoft owned it. And Jab's the end. I'm gonna sip my tea now, see you later. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but like, mm, I was, what was I gonna say? Ah, but you know, Notch, Notch, Notch doesn't really have the image that he wants. I, mm. He had the dream of becoming just one of those nerdy indie game developers, and uh, he made the game Minecraft just out of fun. He just had a fun idea. He said this might be fun, 
And but little did he know that his name would soon become legend and uh, exactly. be known across the world for the creator of Minecraft. Mm-hmm. And like that's why we instead of calling them like God apples, sometimes we call them Notch apples because it's still the same thing. <laughs> do we? Do do you really? You you call it Notch apples? Uh, a lot of people do. I'm not the yeah, only like, one. Like I respect Notch. He, I mean, he's a great guy. He created Minecraft, which is like the solemn core of most YouTube channels. So yes. I respect for that. A lot of but... people's jobs like revolve around Minecraft. Hmm. And, uh, the but, thing but is, like, I, but like, I yeah. want to get to the part where I just start like almost like um, worshiping him almost. I mean, he, he created Minecraft, which is good, and it's like really good and all that because, of course, Minecraft is amazing. All Great. hail not. <laughs> Just like a picture of him in my room, just have like a bowing man, just bow to him 20 minutes every day of my life. Just scented candles around the place. Pickaxe in one hand, sword in one hand. Mom, get out of my room and perform my <laughs> ritual! <laughs> Why have you got a picture of a man on your wall? It's like, Notch! You don't understand! <laughs> you don't understand me! Get out of my room! Okay, I think, I took, I think you took it a little too far then, Andre. We should stay on topic, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, we kind of thought. What was what was the topic anyway? I don't even think we stated the actual topic. Uh, I want to. Uh, the thing is, people have the wrong image for Notch. Like they, everyone's trying to come up with a reason for why Notch sold Minecraft to Microsoft, and really, people are missing out who Notch really is. He just wants to be that nerdy indie game developer that no one really cares about. They just play the game and have some fun. No, is this to is this to relate to him saying it's Microsoft or uh, is this just it's, it's potato? His true dream. Yeah, but it's it's not gonna work out because we're just gonna be stalking him. It's like, when are you gonna make a new game? You making a new game yet? <laughs> Minecraft two point oh, <laughs> waiting for it. Waiting and he's for just it gonna much. make something like with some weird name and they sell sell it or something. It'll be like some platformer game. And we're just gonna, and there's gonna be so many people judging it. Everyone's just gonna buy it, and then there's gonna be game reviews of it, and not just gonna be like, "It's just not what I wanted. I just wanted <laughs> to be a loser." <laughs> Do you reckon it would like end up like the, uh, the like the Flappy Birds incident? Like his new game gets so much like so much love, so much praise. Yeah, that, he has that to take guy is because, the same it's situation, like, and that's just, where no, I'm basing no, it off. I didn't ask for this. Like, and then, like, he makes a new game, like, he just comes up with this fun idea, and people were just stalking him and watching, he's like, it's a new game, judge it! <laughs> oh, this is so hard and frustrating, I love you! Well, well, surely, if you don't want people to, like, look at your game because you feel like it will get too popular and you have to, like, develop on it almost, then just don't put the game up, it's simple as that. Yeah, go get some plastic Like, surgery, the Flappy man. Birds guy, if he was, like, what? really, if he was really worried about his game getting so popular, then just, just don't put the game up, just leave it. Play it for yourself. I mean, what? besides the fact there's like so many Flappy Bird clones currently, I'm just uh, yeah. get an example of my iPod. So, hang on. Right. Almost there. Uh, just uh, load up the game. I, I heard you just unlock your phone. You're just gonna play some Flappy Bird now. <laughs> Enough of the podcast. You're just gonna play Flappy Birds now. Mm -hmm. You really are playing it. <laughs> I'm mad at my word. <laughs> well, James has left. This podcast is... No, I'm still here. I'm still... Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. That was actually a lot of dings. How far did you get? Uh, I got to 10. My best wow. is 16. That was pretty easy. Just You just casually pull out your far. <laughs> I casually just pull out my iPod, ignore the podcast, and just... You get 10. <laughs> I, f I feel bad because I don't have any games on Apple or anything. Still just playing it. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I need to be... Damn it! I've got eight. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's just... Uh, let's go. Back to business. No. Do you uh, have... Do you have any tip... Top... Tipics? Tip... 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 Do you have it's any tip, topics top, top, written tip, down on your end that you want to share or anything? Uh... Hang on. Let me just check. We will tasking get become... Oh, wait. That's my German homework. Nope. <laughs> I have. I have nothing. Sorry. Well, how was your day? 
Uh, did we actually go in depth about that? We we didn't actually go in depth about Microsoft though, did we? With the, the whole Minecraft talk, we just talked about Notch and what his life would be like. They bought Minecraft. The end. Now, yeah, how yeah, was know, your day? I know, but you, yeah, I know, but that's still something you can expand on. Well, but, like yeah, but the future of Minecraft is in the hands of the devil now, aka Microsoft. In my opinion, that's that's what I think of them. The uh, devil. I I kind of I'm kind of I I look up to them. I I think Microsoft just bought it how to be you? nice, like. Like, You've just I, signed I, your soul to the devil. Yeah, I I doubt they'll do anything with it. Like I'm pretty sure they'll just keep the Mojang team. They'll just keep updating it the best they can. Like I, 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 I eh, eh. Yeah, but at the same time, like when we were coming up with the ideas for this, I gave the you the idea that I didn't like Microsoft because of the fact that they bought previous companies that had previously really good games. And ruin them. Like, for example, Banjo-Kazooie, which had the great two first games. 2002, gets sold to Microsoft. 2008, a game that completely changed the series, you know? That is true. But, like, so... you think they might be human and learn from their mistakes? But... Well, uh, no. Uh, no. No, I don't think... I mean, surely, if they did learn from their mistakes, they would have already done it. Or they just would have been smart in the first place. Because, I mean... I guess Crash Bandicoot kind of had the same aspect, and that's why I, I I guess Crash Bandicoot had the same type of like impact. His game was changed to a more fighting based game rather than the the good old platforming. Yeah, I did. Still had, like, like it still that. had the free roam element to it, and it was still a Crash game in my opinion. And I just really liked it. I guess it just um, crashed. Hmm. <laughs> that's just another pun then. Mm hmm. I guess it just crashed and burned. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably gonna flash something on the screen. It just has my character go by in a boat. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking. I'm actually looking excited to do that now. Uh, but yeah, I I actually thought that the two Crash games were actually really good because I just I feel like many people like overreact most times when a game completely changes its core, its like core gaming type. If that makes sense. Yeah, but a lot of Gamers are always asking games to be innovative, and they complain when it's the same. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's always nice to see something new, because these games were not the typical Crash games everyone was expecting, but they were something new, and they were something really good. Yeah. And I still really enjoy playing both the games, so... Yeah. yeah. You, you gotta know when it's, the, when it's good to be innovative, but sometimes just, just it's bad be to, the same. Not, just... It's, Bad to be innovated, but just not give it innovated. some graphics, just give it some new bosses, and then copy and paste everything else, and then we're gonna be happy. But that's basically just a remix, then. Is I, I guess with the extra bosses, it's different, but everything else is just like a remake. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you want, you just make oh, like. Um, uh... If if I were to ask you a question, I, I have another question we could bring up here. Actually, I just sure, but um, I'll be waiting for your apology after. Why? Because you always apologize. So, sorry. <laughs> that, I'm pretty sure you did that naturally. <laughs> yeah, I did that naturally. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, if you could have one game that you've ever played and have a, a HD remake of it with new graphics and on next gen console, what game would it be? Oh, that's difficult to say because all my games that I really wanted actually did come out with an HD remake. Like, uh, <laughs> well, how about a double HD remake? A remake of the remake? I don't know. Like, I, I, the first thing that came into my mind, Gran Turismo, because I know that should be in my childhood games, but that's the game I played the most, Gran Turismo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, with this newer version, Gran Turismo Six, it's too realistic. Um, so obviously that can't be an HD remake. Um, I gotta think, think, take. <sighs> I I know I oh my god I I I got the name. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh. God damn it! There is an HD remake. There's an HD remakes of everything. <laughs> there is a possibility for a HD remake here. I've just got to put my brain to work and find out what it is. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. That deserves an HD remake. I I know you, I don't think you could relate to that, but um, I was I was I was gonna say Tony Hawk, but then like yeah, they have an HD remake that sucks. Mm hmm. But Final Fantasy VII, it had the best story, the best mechanics, ideas, everything. It made you cry when the, the most useless person died. Spoilers. 
Spoilers. <laughs> Not gonna do any name drops with spoilers. But uh, but the graphics they're pretty bad. They were just triangles and squares and rectangles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That that deserves an HD remake. I would I would play that so hard. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What about you? Do you have any HD remakes? Um. I don't want to feel like I'm pulling off the top of my head because I do have quite a few I would probably want. But I think probably a game I'd wish to have a HD remake at the most is probably a game I used to play called War of the Monsters. That sounds familiar. Um, it's, it's just basically a fighting game where you take the role of these massive monsters that rampage across cities and UFOs and stuff like that. And uh, you basically just battle it out for like glory almost and it's just really fun. Sounds lovely. I mean, the game was really, like, really good. Like, most gaming magazines, and they rated it, like, really high. Like, 9.3 out of 10. And it was, like, it was a really good game for the time. It was slightly difficult, but it was really nice. And, um, I kind of felt like with next gen, that actually would be pretty good. Because the, the graphics were pretty decent. But the fact now you've got, like, next gen, you've got Xbox One, and you've got PlayStation 4... You could, like, retexture the things, make the fur real, make, like, the evil, like, scaly skin on the reptiles, like, eat real. It's, and just, like, mm-hmm. you can make the scenery real as well, because, like, that's the thing with the game. It's, like, you and make it available the... on PC. <laughs> exactly. Because, like, the thing with the game is that you could basically pick up monsters and throw them through buildings and all that, and then the buildings would topple. So it was, like, you it basically were rampaging for a city. Everything could be destroyed. You could pick up most things as a weapon and just... It was really good, so I reckon if they made that a HD remake, that would actually be really good because that would graphics would be better. Cool. Um, if they include multi- proper multiplayer rather than split screen, that would also be pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, maybe like a team game kind of thing as well. That would be pretty good. Did, did you ever have a video game that your friends would play whenever they came over or something like that? Or the monsters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not joking. I would play that game. Um. My friend, which is also called James, uh, back in our childhood, whenever he came over to my house, we oh, we were both really big fans of the more than once. More, sorry, <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> what a monster! What the no. monsters? Um, like we were both big fans of War Monsters, except I was the only one who had the game. Mm-hmm. So whenever he came over to my house, we'd always play the game. We just like I we do one or two things. We either have a one on one match against each other, or we would. Do a four a full on four man monster ma- monster game, but we like be on each other's team. Mm-hmm. Except it did cause me that sometimes we'd lock onto each other and shoot each other, <laughs> or possibly grab each other and throw it into the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty funny. You ever got so intense that you accidentally threw your friend across the room in a game? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Or maybe accidentally shot them because you <laughs> epically missed. I'm pretty sure I'd have no friends if that would occur. You know, I actually lost a friend because of uh, Mario Party. Kind of off topic, but no, mm. it's totally odd in topic. It's my turn to tell what games I play with my friends. But, um, but, but, I used... I, I, it, well, Mario Party is like the the sat- the game of Satan. If it's about making your friendships get ruined, it really is. Yeah. The thing I... is, like, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm really good with games. I'm a quick learner, and I improve for the best. Try hard. Sorry. Yeah, I am a tryhard. I'm the definition of a tryhard, but I do it easily and naturally. Like I, I do it to you. Like when we play Super Craft Bros, I cannot go easy. Even if I put in effort, I cannot go easy just to have a good time with friends. Mm-hmm. So when I would play Mario Party, I would, I one time deliberately. This was really evil of me. I was controlling the game. No one knew about it, but when you got those stars, I knew about it. Uh-huh. And I was gonna take it soon. And why, my friend, uh, what was his name? His name was Chase, I think. <laughs> how about you give him like a, how about you give him like a fake name just to... Uh, that to was his fake the, name, by the way. His fake name. <laughs> just to hide the real people. Yeah. And um, he gathered like five stars and he's feeling so happy. I'm like, yeah, enjoy the happiness while well, that's. And <laughs> enjoy the happiness while well, that's. It and, uh, won't be for long. <laughs> and long story short, I went up and I took every single one of his stars and he went so angry i'm pretty sure he had some anger issues he literally threw the controller out the window and he ran back to his home and i never saw him ever again oh gosh 
<laughs> and wow. The thing is, I didn't really care to go fix a friendship because he was a bit of a douche. You didn't bother to go chase him. You just kind of let him. <laughs> I didn't want to go chase Chase. He needs to be free. He needs to be free. Yeah, but... Let him wander off into the world. Yeah. Find it... his new life. And it was kind of awkward because we went to the same elementary school and he stopped watching me play Club Penguin. And at recess time, he would just awkwardly stare at me. <laughs> like, dude. I, it's not like the game was saved. You come back. But that that's all I said. And mm -hmm. that was it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a good story. It was totally a good story. A happy ending. Hmm. Never chased after chase. <laughs> I never chased the chase. It I was called chase. I just couldn't handle the chase. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Neither can my controller. And the thing is, it wasn't even my controller. I was borrowing a friend's controller just so we could play four players. And, uh, I... Got five minutes left. How are we going to fill it? Um, After some. <laughs> uh, eh. My sandwiches are so stale right now. I, I want to eat my sandwiches, but we gotta finish this. Um, I guess we could talk <laughs> we about another game I used to play a lot. I, I guess we. I don't know. Maybe we could just go back on a previous point and just talk a little more about it. Like, what did we not talk about the most? Uh, we, we went in depth quite a lot with mm -hmm. every topic. We even went I, in depth with non-topics. It just kind of naturally flowed. Mm. We saw. Oh. The topic that we didn't really talk about was how was your day? <laughs> how was your day? Just how are you? <laughs> Fine, thanks. And yourself, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for thanks for joining us. We got four minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I guess we could talk about our day. I mean, I threw a water balloon at this one kid, and. Didn't like it. He kind of asked who I was, and he kind of asked who you were. Yeah, that's a thing where I live. I like quickly imagine it. Like I'm in condos, and um, I I live on the beach. The beach is not fun, by the way. It's not any kind of tropical dream. Trust me. And um, <laughs> the people, it's the people that make this place kind of depressing. Like in most places, you could approach. Anyone, and I mean anyone. You could ask the time, you could just go up and say how nice your scarf is, but here, if you make eye contact, they're going to instantly start coming up with rumors about you on how you're just going to murder their family or something. Hmm. hmm. I, I mean, I mean, there's always those people who are like, almost like, I'm going to make you scared, don't they? Yeah. I, hmm. I, I want to make some real-life friends, okay? I don't want to be socially awkward and... It's really hard to do that. I, I one time just went up to someone and said, do you play Minecraft? And they're like, no, what's that? I'm like, okay. And uh, even when you go to the barber, I'm not sure if you go get haircuts, but um... Uh, my mom's a hairdresser. Oh, really? <laughs> so I, I just get the benefit immediately. I don't have to go down to a barber. I, I just, there. Well... Just... Simply if, pull out, pull out the kitchen chair, take a seat, just put on an apron, and then whoosh, mm -hmm. hair is gone. Good naturally. But um, my hair is really complicated. I have to go to an expert. <laughs> really, and um, and uh, the lady—it's always a lady who cuts my hair, and um, she always tries to make some conversation. Everyone does to me. And uh, they're always asking like what I like, and I'm like, I like video games, I guess. And there, and she just talks about like, oh yeah, I like Pac Man. <laughs> Lady, you are aware this is the 13th of October 2014, right here. You're talking about a game that came out pretty long time ago. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm like, it's hard to do it because I, I mean, I, 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 one time a couple weeks ago, I tried to explain that I'm a YouTuber. I like, do these YouTube games, and she's like, what do you play the games and people watch you? Why would anyone want to do that? Why not go play the games? I'm like. Because you can... I, I don't know. I, I always fail to answer that question, actually. Yeah. Like, I, I guess it's some... I guess it's like some sort of tradition. It's just some sort of feeling about pl just watching someone play the game and then maybe convincing to buy the game. I guess that's possibly a reason. Yeah. Like, I saw you watch me club 
watch me play Club Penguin that one time. <laughs> Don't play Club. You convinced me. me to put my life in a Club Penguin because you put your life in a Club Penguin, and, and I'm so grateful for you enlightening me with this game, Club Penguin. Club Penguin is love. Club Penguin is life. Life. Shrek was born out of it. <laughs> <sighs> I want you know. I I guess to end this. Kind like, of. Oh, it has been mm. an hour. I think it has been about an hour, actually. Well, my timer, there's a 10 seconds, literally. Nine. Okay, eight. 10. No, I, no, I gotta finish this now. Um, anyways, like, uh, with my Club Penguin account, when I f- knew that I wasn't really gonna play Club Penguin again on that account, I made the ritual. It was like a tradition. Uh, a ritual? To get your... <laughs> a tradition. Club Penguin's not about rituals. <laughs> we just <laughs> sacrifice... Boy, boy, 6363 six, three to the uh, the gods of uh, Club Penguin. On the top and, of and by the that, I mean slope. he would log out when I tell him to. <laughs> but uh, what we used to do is try our hardest to get banned in the craziest way possible. Mm-hmm. And most of the kids, we were just really uncreative, including me. What I did to get banned was I just walked up to one random player and I was like, F you. And like, it just like, I didn't spell out the way. It's just those two letters, F U, and I got. And the thing is, I failed. I was only banned temporarily for one day. Oh wow! Yeah. And I came back and I was like, "Screw it!" And I just never touched it again. <laughs> I still remember I, I the. Think, I think what like um because I I always look at Club Penguin now and I feel like it's a really boring game and I'm really like wondering why I like the game almost. Mm-hmm. It just felt like a, it, just, it just felt like there was a few things you couldn't do almost. But I think the reason why I kept playing it when I kept like like when I was thought about how bu- how boring it was was probably because um, I, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's like the card jitsu game. Oh, I, I love a, that so much. That 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 is like the thing that kept me going. I I bought the packs and everything to get codes to actually mm-hmm. put on the game, and it was just. It was like a really satisfying. It was something really fun to play. I enjoyed it. It was just. You ever got the glitch? The glitch. There was this one glitch. Uh, I forgot how to do it, but basically you spammed something, and uh, you know that one power move that would be like a rank ten or something would be. Uh, yeah, you get like rank ten. I actually got rank twelves, which is pretty good because like the cards I got in the pools. Oh, one of them convinced of like the uh, the super villain coming out in the drill, and he just like drill the hole into the abyss. I like the just, one that you take out a dragon, and you just stomp on him. Hmm. Still, I, I mean, I mean, I think that's the reason why I liked it, just because the animations were really good. Like just watching you, like either come down the sled or get the guys come out the ground in the drill, and then just like just go and push them into the hole. Get like the aqua grabber thing, and just like kind of just like try and. Like you like, I think that was one of my favorite. Actually, you like fill the whole room with water. You get this aqua grabber thing, which is used to catch treasures, and like you just chase them around with it until like uh, the, the move expires, like the animation. Yeah, but still, it was, I it was, was kind of the opposite. Like I like the competitive of it and like just strategy and luck into it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I kind of did not like the animations. I kept like, just hurry up, <laughs> taking so long. But, I, I mean, I mean, like the basic animations when it wasn't a power card, it was just like you pull out hot sauce, yeah. uh, you throw a snowball, you throw a water balloon. That's, oh god, like, the snowball! Not the overpowered snowball. <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt you? No. <laughs> but the glitch, though, basically that power move. If you spam something, you got an infinite amount of those power moves. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. As in, they would fill up the whole screen. They were actually really hard to see. It was a glitch. But, um, okay. They were usable, and I won many times like that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work anymore. It was patched. But uh, it was fun while it lasted. And uh, so was this podcast, right? <laughs> yeah. Great transition from me. Copyrighted. Patented. <laughs> um... I guess I'll, I'll be the one to end this since you're not really volunteering. So. R- r- remember the the number is on the bottom of the screen in case you want to go and buy the uh, the Potato Gamers uh, podcast merchandise, which uh, we haven't actually got. Mm-hmm. Make sure you click the link to go download it, which I'll figure out later because I'm go not sure. Go check out our sponsorship, which is nobody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I remember to put it in that link. You better be looking there and better 
put your trust in me if it's going to be a scare link or not. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching <laughs> Potato Games anyway, with yeah, Z. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next week. If it does well, if you guys do enjoy it and you would like to see more, make sure you tell us in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure this will be going up on both our channels, so it better if you're be. a fan of mine and you look at my stuff, then you will see about this and you can comment on my channel and then I'll be able to know what to tell Blaze. Blaze can do the same and uh, yeah. 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 Tell us you enjoyed it. We'd be subscribe. happy to do more. This is actually subscribe. This is very enjoyable. If you guys want to call see more of them, to be, I'll just now I'm gonna not gonna repeat what I just said. And if you were doing homework while listening to this, you better go back to focusing on your homework because I'm pretty sure you just stopped everything. Just listen to us. To listen to this intense call almost. And if you were listening to this while you're walking to school or something, then you better hurry up because you're late. But um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but um, we gotta end this. We must end this. <laughs> so, uh, bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.